So here we are. And uh, the agenda is on the screen there, as you can see. Um, we need to approve the board minutes. And so if you take a look at those. Motion to approve. I've read them. All right. Anybody else need a little bit more time to take a look at the minutes? All right. We have a motion to approve. So when you're done, you can one of you can second. I'll second. Um, any discussion or questions? Hearing none. Call for the vote. All those in favor of approving the minutes as printed here, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the minutes are passed. Okay, time for public comments. Um, okay, I don't see anyone here um, that's ready to do public comments. Um, so I think we'll move along. Okay. Um, okay. Madam Please. President, there are zero speaker cards for the minutes. Public comment. There are zero public comment speaker cards. Zero okay. Public comment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And um, CEO's report. For the CEO's report, we um, have a student presentation and our new staff member introduction. We currently do not have any new staff members to introduce. For our student presentation, we have our high school students. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry to interrupt. We uh, wanted to make sure we were on public comments. I'm happy to reopen public comments. <clears throat> for a limited amount of time because we need to move through the agenda. Uh, I object to that. I mean, we've been here, done that. I appreciate it. Definitely. Okay, we have, we have, uh, actually, what I need to do is I need to pull the rest of the board. Are you willing to open for public comments? Just the one speaker as far as I'm concerned. I mean, people have to be here on time. I raced to get here on time. I'm sorry. We wait plenty of time for all of you. There's plenty of uh, executive board members or board members who show up late all the time. I've been winning to it myself. You have been the courtesy to, you, to each of your board members. It should be a feeling to the community as well. Okay, um, one speaker? Yes. No, one speaker. We have plenty of speakers. It's what we will accept at this point? Uh, well, no. I think you need to accept everyone here who is um, wanting to speak to the board with regards to um, taking place. Okay, look, look, we called it. There were no cards. No one's here. Um, we always start. If I'm late, we start. Uh, we've, we've, we've called. You're more than welcome to fill in the gallery and to listen to the meeting at this point. Um, there is an objection to more than one speaker, and so I'm going to ask the board to we allow one speaker. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I would like to. Uh, um, Are you the public speaker? I would like to ask the board to open public comments to more than one speaker. We have a, a, a contingent of community members who want to speak to you. It, I think it's um, poor form on your part that you're denying people their ability to speak when you've extended the same courtesy to each and every one of yourselves. Whenever you've been okay, asked, okay. I've seen it. You may take a seat in the record, gallery. And I would really urge you to reconsider it. We have a conversation. Absolutely. Um, I'd like to ask the um, board if you'd like to take a quick recess. Yes, please. Okay. We're out for recess. We'll be recessed at 10 on five. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you.
Dominican Hispanic Black community. I'm going to start a fire.
Individuals wishing to speak at any board meeting must sign up at the meeting. There will be no sign-ups in advance of the meeting. Each speaker is to keep his or her public comments to a maximum of two minutes to state his or her issue clearly. The Accelerator Schools board meetings are held on school grounds during times when school is in session. Members of the public are welcome to meetings, but must remember not to be disruptive on school grounds. This includes keeping any public comments at a volume level in consideration of class instruction going on nearby. <clears throat> what the board has decided is that we will reopen public comments for 15 minutes. If you wish to think about who you would like to speak for you, in case all of you cannot speak within the 15 minutes we're allowing, during this reopening of public comments. You may take a moment to determine who would be the speaker. Yes. And if you are speaking, you do need to fill in the speaker cards. This is a practice that LAUSD supports and requires for any speakers at their board meetings, and we are following their policy as well. So we'll give you... Well, just to be clear, I would like to let you know that uh, your barriers right here are things that obstruct people's ingress into these board meetings. And I think that uh, even these 15 minutes are, are, are not enough, okay? We'll take them up because we're, it's, we're that eager to speak to you with regards to what is occurring here. Uh, but we're letting you know that, that it's not okay. Uh, you essentially you essentially created barriers that uh, that uh, uh, had us be late by a, a couple minutes when every single person here on this well not every single person do you, do you want your comments do you want your comments to be a part of the 15 minutes no okay then you need to allow these people to determine who's going to speak no, it's not going to work that way they're going to oh, yes it is going, going to work that way races. they're going to sign up in a black and Hispanic community, and you white people take advantage. I taught here for 50 years. And the children need to be heard. Okay, um, we have reopened for public comments. I would hope that we would not have to close that because of disruptive behavior. Do you have speakers that are ready to speak? Yeah, you have a
Is there anyone else who would like to turn in a speaker card? Okay, then we will commence the reopening of public comments for 15 minutes, starting now. So, who is your first speaker? I have these in order. Correct. Okay. Um, Ms. Diaz? Okay. Okay, someone time. Hace unos días puse una queja porque la maestra Arpaña ha llamado burros a sus alumnos, incluyendo a mi hijo. Estoy molesta por eso y mi hijo está pagando las consecuencias de eso porque le han quitado las clases de español. La maestra Arpaña sigue trabajando como si nada, ahora mi hijo está sin clases de español. Quiero saber la razón por qué mi hijo está sin, sin las clases de español. ¿Quién le va a enseñar el español a escribir, a leer? Yo, las matemáticas también que me mandan a la casa, yo se las tengo que enseñar. The teacher, the teacher Tanya, she is fine and well, and my child is no longer in Spanish classes. Who's going to be teaching my child Spanish classes? A la maestra admitió que sí le dijo burro, ok, yo pedí que me lo cambiaran de salón, pero que me le pongan clases de español. Si él no tiene clases de español, ¿a qué lo mando a la escuela? When she admitted, when she admitted what she said, they, they moved my kid from the classroom. But what, what help does that do my child? ¿Dónde quedan los derechos de mi hijo? Where are my child's rights at? Esa es una. La segunda es, quiero saber por qué corrieron a Hilda. ¿Por qué nos culpan como padres de que pedimos que la corrieran cuando nosotros queremos a Hilda en, de now, vuelta en el trabajo? So, uh, now, my second issue is with regard to Hilda's termination. How is it that y'all are planning to speak on behalf of parents that we wanted uh, that her position eliminated when uh, that's far from the case? Us as parents uh, 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 admire Hilda and want her uh, at that. Y la tercera es queremos buena comida para nuestros hijos en la escuela. And the third, we want good food for our child here at school. Porque todos los días a las 12 del día están tomando leche con un pedazo de pan, un Because pedazo de pizza. Every day they're just drinking milk. At lunch time they're drinking milk with a piece of bread, with some pizza. Esta es la, la, la alimentación que tiene mi hijo. Mi hijo ya tuvo anemia una vez. That's the kind of nutrition that, that, that serves here. My child has already I had an anemia once. Yo me veo cansada de todos los días tener que traerle comida porque la escuela según no tiene fondos para darles de comer bien. I, I, I'm tired, I'm tired of having to always uh, um, extend my child with food because, it, because the school claims that, that they don't have the resources to be able to, to uh, fund these kinds of programs. Queremos respuestas para todas las dudas que tenemos, todos los problemas que hay. Uh, aquí es donde tenemos que poner quejas y ustedes ya no nos querían dejar hablar. Entonces, ¿Quieres hablar con nosotros como padres o you're, nos quieren callar la voz porque tenemos voz y creo que ya estamos descansando porque como ven ya hay más padres aquí que están hablando. Antes no había padres. No se les avisa a uno de padres you, que va a haber junta de la mesa directiva. Are you, are you willfully trying to uh, um, stir around our, our parents' uh, input? Because that's something that existed in the past, and as you can, as you can tell, uh, we're waking up as parents. We're not, uh, we're not just sitting idle anymore. Para el café con la directora hay una llamada, una operadora que llama cada martes para recordar el café con la directora. ¿Por qué no se llama para la junta de la mesa directiva que es muy importante para exigir los derechos de nuestros hijos? Oh, you have plenty of robocalls with regards to all kinds of other dubious matters. Why is it that you don't make the robocalls reminding parents about these meetings uh, 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 with these board meetings? Estamos cansados y ya no vamos a permitir que se los derechos de nuestros we're hijos. We're tired and we're, we're not going to let the rights of our child and as parents to be on, uh, tread upon. No crean longer. que porque somos latinos Don't vamos a sentirnos we're, we're Latinos, intimidados y nos vamos a callar. We're going to be quiet. Ya se terminó este tiempo y creo que ya vamos a empezar a exigir los derechos de nuestros hijos y de nosotros, those, no those, nosotros como padres también. Those days are over and uh, we are going to begin to, to demand more from, for, our, for our children as, as parents. Thank you very much for your comment. Um, Martha Sanchez. Good 
Good morning, my name is Marcus Sanchez. I'm a member of ACE, but I'm also a member of the South Central Neighborhood Council. When this school was proposed to be built in this school, the Neighborhood Council opposed to build a new building because we were aware of the very uh, bad things that were happening in the, in the old building. We were really concerned about the inclusion, about the respect, about all the things that the parents had been complaining already. And now the hill that has been laid out, we are extremely upset of the many processes that are taking place. We are extremely concerned about our children. I have nieces and nephews coming to this school site, and I'm very concerned about their education because this building was built with the promise of serving a disadvantaged community. And it is not taking place. It's not happening. I'm extremely concerned of the many things that are happening every single day. We visit door by door families that tell stories about the many processes that are not taking place. We want to demand, we are not asking, we, are, we want to demand the resettlement of uh, Hilda Rodriguez because she is truly loved in this community. She has been named as the hero in this community. Everyone in this community knows the legacy of Hilda. She belongs to the community. She lives in the community. She's part of the community. She's not only advocating for resources for schools, she's advocating for resources for the whole community. So it is really disappointing. It's really uh, an insult for our community, for our members. I live just a few blocks away from here on 30th Street, and I always walk this way to see how many kids came to this school that don't belong to the community, that don't live in this community, and they don't understand the struggles that we face every single day. So, again, we are here to demand the resentment of Hilda Solis. Uh, Hilda Solis, she's the senator right now. Thank you for your comments. Stephanie, I'm sorry, I cannot read the last name. <coughs> Good morning, my name is Stephanie Guzman. I am a TAS alumni. I'm here today to express my disappointment at this board decision to wrongfully terminate my mother for her position which she has held since I was in elementary school at TAS. My mother has been instrumental in advocating for me as a student with disabilities as many other students throughout the years. Unfortunately, she had to fight TAS hard to get me the much needed services and support to because of my mother's advocacy, I was able to attend and graduate from college this spring with a Bachelor's of Science in Speech and Language Pathology from the University of the Pacific. It's discouraging that TAS hasn't been inconsistent, that TAS hasn't been inconsistent with its mission and vision to give students a quality education that it promised. Instead, board and management has instilled fear in parents, staff, and educators that would be felt for students like me. The high turnover of teachers and staff negatively impacted my education. I went years without credential teachers in core subjects like math and English. Stability is crucial for students like me in this community. My mother, Hilda, is an exponential role model and a dedicated, compassionate, caring, hardworking employee, an activist within our community and at large. I'm asking the board to reconsider its retaliatory action towards my mother and the state for any position. Thank you for your comments. By the way, congratulations on your degree. Um, Jorge Roman? Good morning, folks. Hope all is well. In a while. I actually wrote a letter to the office this time. I, I would like to remind all of all of uh, every single one of you of something very important that perhaps uh, you know, like the copy of six cents around you may not be articulating. Uh, the decision to terminate Ilda by the past administration was because of her union and parent activism as a stakeholder in the school, or in these schools, there's three, 
Firing someone for union activities, or activities is a violation of not only state law, but in today's Union Blue California, this action is the most villainous trope an employer could have engaged in. Right before a historic election year and in a political climate that is holding charter schools' feet to the fire. The decision to terminate Linda was done in your name as the board, and every one of you is exposed, and this exposure will only grow. With your new invested initiatives, you have you have better use of your time, and you need to resolve this matter as much as for yourself as for Ida. I urge you to reevaluate your management decisions, have them put their differences with Ida aside, and re-employ her. There are open positions available. You should do it. It's the right thing to do. There's exit ramps available. You should take them. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Okay, um, Justin. <coughs> My name is Justin Guzman. I'm the youngest child and former student of Accelerated Schools. I will share the following statements that were posted online about my mother. This board needs to know that she has developed a deep connection with the community and she has helped countless people, which includes students, staff, and parents alike. <clears throat> this comment is from Isamar Blessed, former TAS student. I, attend, I attended TAS from kindergarten to the beginning of 11th grade, and Hilda was a calming and supportive presence in the school. I often felt <clears throat> other staff and admin make places of school, I mean, make places of the school feel uncomfortable. Both always provided an environment for us students to feel calm, especially as a school nurse. It is true that kids can sometimes feel physical symptoms from anxiety created by other um, defaults of the school. I can positively say my time at the school was less than ideal. But Hilda is one of the few good memories and people who I can say positively, positively impacted my school life. I'm in, the, I'm in my third year at UCLA right now, and when I have seen big staff coming up or some sort of, um, or something of, sort, of that sort, I can remember having the same that same feeling the first or the third or even ninth grade, and I know that this time it will be okay. I can only hope to some to someday have such a wonderful impact on any school, community, and large number of students as I know Hilda was for me and my three and my three siblings. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. I believe we have time for one more speaker, and that would be uh, Joe Stringer. Good morning to the board. I'd just like to say one thing before I get started. This reminds me of 1953. I was down in the deep south and was carried to a kangaroo coat. This is what this reminds me of, that kangaroo coat. I thought we had got rid of the kangaroo coat. But I see we have it. One day, kangaroo coat will not exist any longer. I want all of you board members to get that in your mind. And I'm looking at this board. I don't see no parents over here that say they got some kids around in here. Or anybody that got some family members on the board. I don't see nobody look like them. Where are they at? I would like to know where are they? I think this community would like to know where are they? This community would like to know where are they? Just like you sitting at that board, they want some of their community, some of their family people sitting there too. Why not? No justice. They want justice. And they ain't going to get it with you sitting there. I want you to take that home and sleep on it. I want you to do that. Think about it. Think about what you're looking for, what you want to do. You sit here and talk that talk. We want to do for the kids. We want to do this and that. You want to do for the kids? Let the kids see a mixed board. Let them see a mixed board. Got to do something for them. 
Better give them hope. Better give them courage. I have to stand here and talk all day, but I'm going to stop. Thank you very much for your comments. Okay, that will close public comments I'm sorry. for today. There's uh, three more people. Who, who I'll keep speak. their cards. There are three more people. No, excuse me. I excuse me. No. She is I'm a tell of, she's a parent of that. And I am the president of the board, and we have reopened public comments for 15 minutes right. and given you the opportunity. Public comments are now closed. So we're urging you to open them again. It's, it's three more people okay. that want to speak. No, there, I have a number of people, and oh, we don't we have the time to do that. We need to have them all be here no, again. Not today. And just so you know, okay, you should not be counting, we should not be counting uh, uh, the, the four minutes Excuse of me. Uh, in there. I would like to ask the board if you'd like fact, another recess. As a matter of fact, we still have Hilda, who hasn't spoken. She wants to speak to the board. Excuse me. Good morning. My name is Stop. Stop. Mother of Stop. Student, health service coordinator from 2007 to 2019. Okay, Chief Stewart at large. We still have class one. retaliatory decision to abruptly terminate my employment via email on July 11th from the accelerated schools. These past few months have been extremely difficult, especially after I read an investigation report regarding a complaint that I had filed in 2016 in which I was unknowingly and falsely accused of a tragedy that concerned a minor student at the time. It's utterly disgusting. Disgusting. I have always taken all of my roles and responsibilities to heart and, with, and prided myself in helping students, parents, staff, administration, management, and community to the best of my ability. I have volunteered countless hours of my personal time since 1994 for the betterment of the accelerated schools and community. One of the principal aspects of the accelerated schools model is to institute a governing structure characterized by board staff and parent participation in decision making and by procedures for taking stock of the school's strengths and problems and for generating solutions. Sadly, we have veered from some of the core foundation principles, foundational principles of the accelerated schools model in which TAN was established in 1994 in our community. I strongly believe that I don't know after today, honestly, that if we work together to reestablish the core principle of the shared decision making and genuinely take stock by recognizing our strengths and weaknesses and by collaboratively developing solutions, we, have, we can make positive impacts on our entire community. No school system is perfect. But it, if we work with fidelity, integrity, accountability, and transparency, anything is possible. My job at TAS never ended after my shift was over. Even now, after my wrongful termination, TAS has been a part of my life for over 25 years. And it's heartbreaking to experience and witness firsthand the demise of its core foundational principles. I have done nothing wrong but cared and advocated for students, current staff, and community. I do not deserve this unjust treatment by this board, administration, and management. There has been an outpouring of support on my behalf that has been truly heartwarming and a true testament to what I mean for, for so many and what I, what I stand for today. In closing, I ask this board to reconsider its erroneous and retaliatory decisions and, my, and reinstate me in my position as health service coordinator effective immediately. It's very sad that these chairs are empty from these board members. They're huddling in the back, hiding from the public. It's Shame. utterly disgusting. It's shameful. There is no word. This is not what this was supposed to be. Respect! 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 Respect!
Therefore, we are unable to continue our business. Therefore, if there are any more outbreaks, we will stop the board meeting and dismiss the board. Well, you know you're in business. You'll be opening a public session right now. Just so folks know, they do not want to open public sessions and hear the public. They're, they're using dubious grounds as to why the public session, the public comment part was, uh, was cut short to silence the community. And let that be known. The public comment session was not cut short. It was reopened to accommodate those of you who could speak within 15 minutes. Therefore, if there are any more outbreaks, we will close the board session and we will adjourn. We urge you to reopen the public session, the public comment. I have already okay. ruled on that and okay. that will not happen today. We urge you to open the public session once again. We have people from the public who want to speak. You're denying people their right to be heard. We are following protocol, and as I have said, if there are any more outbreaks, and that includes from you, sir, we will adjourn the board meeting. The problem is that you're not used to. You're not used to these voices. You always have a build up. You are you are now also interrupting this board meeting on your behalf because you have these board meetings during. All right, the board is adjourned at ten thirty. Teachers, your parents are unable to attend. You cannot continue. This is not the accelerated schools model. This is not shared decision making. You are refusing to hear our voice. You are not using the voice coming out and demanding justice.